hello guys uh, today we going to see how to send and receive the json offset using ajax call uh, so uh, i'm going to use a mvc platform uh, to build the data and retrieve the data so this is my uh, page uh, like if once i give the send and receive i just want to pause some ajax so uh, default i have my controller class and uh, i created my properties called uh, uh product in that property i have a two set of uh, sorry in the uh, product class i have two set of properties name and price so okay uh, no confusion i just want to pause a single data here so that we can avoid so in the product i have a class called name uh, so uh, here i have a method called get data once i receive the product model uh, have to uh, insert in my db so that uh, i will write some snip of code uh, to insert here it will come insert data product so uh, now i am not going to show you like how to insert into the data i just how to retrieve the data from the model and from the model you know how to pass the data if not uh, in a future session i will show you how to insert the data um, uh, from the model which received from the views uh, okay so no issues the same product i am just uh, trying to push into the front end and uh, i have uh, just pop up the alert that i receive the data and i am just uh, retrieving the data back so uh, okay uh, from this i will start my script here script javascript okay uh, so i just uh, write my function okay on uh, button click event button and button click function I just want to pull some record so how to do that one uh, so uh, I just uh, initialize my uh, var car uh, with the property called name uh, name uh, like uh, go free lancer okay fine now my uh, property is initialized okay, now the next step is to uh, push the data or the post the data uh, uh, towards the controller so how to do that one so uh, by building the ajax uh, call i just want to post the data here okay uh, so uh, uh, by uh, taking the ajax call over here Okay, default uh, this is my ajax uh, dollar dot ajax i just uh, mentioned my type is post and content type is application next uh, the data i going to push so uh, i found uh, already have the data so this is the product uh, that the model will take it out so uh, i just uh, use the stringify to convert to the string so in the product i have the model uh, property called name in the uh, name i have the value uh, go signature that will go into that so next step is to uh, define the url so uh, where it has to hit and uh, to pause the data so we have the method called get data so here i just want to pause the model okay the url section i going to define my url my url is uh, home controller slash get data
Okay, now uh, on success. Success. I'll receive a data from data. So on success, I just uh, going to allow the same data which I'm going to retrieve. Uh, I'm just uh, tell that the uh, product name is my data. Okay, so how uh, this uh, data it will come? It's very simple. In the JSON result, I just pause the data and pulling the same uh, product dot name, the data which I have the model name. So I already built this one to avoid a lot of uh, time consumption. So it's a very basic that the product under the property you are uh, taking over that. So I just uh, uh, like to set the behavior of JSON request to be allocate and just pause the same so I have single record so it will be bind easily okay fine so now, now everything is, seems to be good and uh, we can log our error by using the error uh, attribute Okay, on uh, error, I just uh, call uh, this function. Uh, just I'll let something went wrong, so that we can find out what exactly. So we have we can log the error. Here you can use the logger to uh, track the error. So it will be very helpful for the error and if success, you will get the data. If it's error, it will show something. So here you can log your data. It's very simple process. So let me go and run my application. We'll see how it works. okay something is went wrong so we have to check what is went wrong there okay so home it's uh url is a bit uh, wrong here okay so uh, so that is what the issue I'll just go and refresh my page. Initially, I didn't know. Okay, dollar symbol is not defined. Okay, uh, so we don't need to worry much for the. Uh, okay, exactly what the issue we have to find out. So I'll just make the things. I think it will work fine. The whole symbol is not different as expected. So what is exactly we? Oops, uh, still I am facing some issues like uh, dollar is not defined. What is exactly issue? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, so I don't have internet connection, so I'm just using direct from the code. So, uh, so I have inbuilt library. So this is a jQuery reference that we have to made actually. So that's what the issue, I guess. So let me go and refresh the page. 
uh, yeah the, I have no errors so let me go and click the button yes uh, I get the success response product name grow clearances uh, it's working now perfectly uh, yeah it's working good as we expected so likewise we can pass the dynamic data as well here to push the records in the database Okay, refresh whatever the objective of person so it will be uh, perform the asynchronous and uh, retrieve the data in as as soon as the quick way so it is one uh, useful tutorial that I covered uh, please uh, uh, comment us if you have any queries thanks for watching the video